Cancer. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get Spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy-to-understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, my goodness, can't so we have the nine of cups flying out there for you universe validating you are on the right track and on the right path my beautiful friend all you have to do right now is just stay focused on your desires and know that all of your desires will for come forward to you three of wands coming in there king of pentacles beautiful energy cancer absolutely beautiful energy you are exactly where you need to be and here's the thing very shortly here there is going to be an influx of manifestations coming forward into your life from the hard work and dedication you've put in what's important right now is for you to just stay clear and focused on what is most important to you because if you know in life sometimes you know we end up feeling like things are going well and sort of we stop putting the same energy and attention into it when things are going well and that's when always the universe is like oh wait a minute we need to make sure that you keep evolving and then boom something happens uh, in the form of uh, um, problem solving energy right so in order for things to always be flowing and at ease continue with the disciplines and the energy that has gotten you to where you are today okay it's very important for you to know uh, that you are um, feeling um, of, of, of use, of fulfillment, of success. It's, it's important for you as a cancer to know that you are um, uh, helping others and, 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 and making a difference. And this will come in the form of service of some kind. Uh, you cancers are, are great at nurses, uh, interior design, anything creative and anything with service to others, um, CEOs even. Um, be mindful that you must have a creative outlet at this time in order for you to channel your beautiful energy. Um, you know, a lot of the times, sometimes the fun thing is, is creating uh, fun meals. You know what I mean? Fun meals that um, go along with our uh, um, um, goals of our health and our diet. You know, there's a lot of really fun online, like healthy desserts made, that can be made with monk fruit, honey, whatever it is your preference of 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 sweetness um, you know there's a lot of fun creative uh, recipes that you can create uh, so that you feel like you are creating um, something and at the same time getting something back from yourself uh, because that's sort of what the universe is kind of saying is that you're on the right track now is just the time to keep yourself satisfied and fulfilled on the side and know that if you're not satisfied and fulfilled in your life, uh, take a look and see how you're spending your time. Are you, do you feel like you are providing um, enough of a um, service to others or perhaps helping in some way? Because that will take away from your spirit in a sense. And especially um, with cancers, uh, your beautiful soul um, because you guys are very deep your intuition runs deep um, your emotions run deep and um, if you are not uh, having things in your life that leave you that satisfied feeling um, it can play tricks on you and it will bring you into a place in your life where you not may not feel emotionally sound and trust yourself and the, those around you will feel it as well and um, it may come off as cold or it may come off as insensitive and as a matter of fact it's the exact opposite and so it's the exact opposite reaction of what you would want which will leave you feeling even worse so take time to find a creative outlet for yourself so that you can always be in that powerful best suit of yours because it's just way too beautiful to not embrace that okay um, I can see here that there's going to be an offering coming forward very quickly for you so you again are going to see the transition of your life move and um, progress in the right direction I do sense that this offering is going to bring you a lot of confidence and a lot of enjoyment this may become in the form of love but this may also come in the form again of an opportunity for your career uh, for just an uh, um, a um, new beginning you have been waiting for again one of your manifestations even one I feel like that has one that has been completely forgotten about um, because it's been so far is now finally working its way to the surface here. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of more um, ideas that are going to be moving forward because, you know, again, when you feel your power and when you feel the, the universe running through you, that's when you the ideas start to flow. It's just when we kind of stay stagnant, we stay stuck and we're not we're working on something creative that we keep the energy stuck. We keep the energy. It feels like a blockage. And then we end up doing things that are familiar that maybe are a little 
self-destructive or not progressive. And then again, when that happens, we completely fall far away from who we really are. And it ends up reflecting in our relationships and in our life and in our social circles and in our work environments. And so the, the best way, the good thing is cancer, we can switch that on the drop of a hat. All we have to do is be mindful of it and then start to look for the good in the situation and start to find a way to get creative. Even if it feels like resistancy at first, go up and get up and do it anyway. Something that your spirit really enjoys. Ask yourself, what is it that I enjoy? What is it that brings me fun, happiness, and uh, gets my creative juices flowing? It's a time to put some energy into that at this time. Because I can see here that I feel like you've been overthinking a situation that uh, this idea you've had for a long time. And I almost feel like it's weighing on you that you haven't capitalized on it yet, that you haven't taken enough action on it yet. And I feel like that is also creating a lot of resistance because of the negativity you're putting towards yourself because you haven't taken uh, the right actions, um, necessary action to move forward with it. Um, Cancer, I'm going to let you know something. If you ever set your focus on trying to make money with something, you're never going to make money because money is an energy and so is love. It's the same thing as when you try to find love, but when you don't have love and you're trying to find it, it's coming from a scarcity energy, uh, perspective. It's the same thing with money. When you're trying to only make money, you will make money, but it will not be, you'll, you'll cap yourself because there's an energy that's going into it that's, I need money to feel validated and happy. Again, if instead you start to focus on the service and the creation behind what it is you're trying to make money for, right? That's when the money flows in because money flows to you whenever you're feeling passionate, creative, excited, happy, fulfilled, right? And putting energy towards it. So right now at this time, universe is sort of saying here, instead of focusing on the goal of making money, instead focus on the energy of the activities around that goal of making money. So for instance, like um, if I wanted to rescue dogs, which I do, uh, I'm not gonna focus on the idea of how much money can I make from this. Instead, I'm gonna focus on the next necessary action steps that are required in order to get this dog rescue up and going for people to see it, for uh, the dogs to be seen. Um, and with that passion and with that focus and that energy, it will just flow in. It will just flow in by the necessary action steps. And you always be guided to what those action steps are. They're gonna be challenging, trust me. They're going to be one of those, an action step that you're not comfortable with and you're not used to. But again, as we know, if we're challenging ourselves and if we're challenging our ego, we know we're headed in the right direction. That's what melts away those belief systems we've implemented all these years. So it's always a good thing, but it's difficult, right? But that's that's what the universe is saying is put your time and attention into, okay, well, if I want to start this dog rescue, currently I don't have a spot. Currently I'm not in the position to actually go rescue dogs right now. However, what I can do is put energy into uh, dog training. I can learn all about dog training, which I'm familiar with, but now I'm going to research about rescue dogs, right? Right? Now I'm going to put energy into learning the local language so that I can speak with the locals so that when we're in the midst of nowhere, uh, it will, there'll be communication. You know what I mean? So just see what you can put energy into that's not the goal itself because thinking about money and thinking about the end goal, it's too stressful. It's too much pressure and it's going to come off in the form of scarcity and you're going to be overthinking the scenario. Instead, put your energy again into the pieces around it to build the foundation so when you get to that end goal, you're prepared for it. You feel ready for it. You've done your your due diligence and you know what needs to get done. All right, so here we have elephant spirit coming forward first. So learn from the past, okay? So Cancer, it is important to again, reflect on old patterns and reflect on old habits, old thought processes, right? Um, so that you can get the best results because whenever, we can always tell when there's a limiting belief in there because the same scenario happens over and over and the universe will always give us opportunities to evolve from that. However, it's up to us to be able to be aware of the same patterns. It's like when we date the same person, we keep attracting the same person. We're thinking, what in the heck is going on here? I keep updating the same person for like three people in a row. And it's only because of your energy and your beliefs around the people that you date and your beliefs around love and your beliefs around yourself, truly. So in order to evolve through that, what you must do is take a look and see what action steps can I change so that I can evolve and attract someone different, attract someone that's more connected to what I'm looking for. And it's as simple as that. It's the same thing with business as well. Why do I keep attracting the same number of clients? I'm not getting any more. I'm not getting any more success in my business. I would like to see some evolution in my career. Perfect. So there needs to be change in your personal life, in your personal growth, in your personal development. Generally comes from learning something new. Educating ourselves is the easiest and fastest way to become more confident and to be able to put that into our space of, of, of progression uh, so that we get better results and we level up in our lives. 
Okay, and beautiful card to receive cancer. Here we have trust the great mystery, whale spirit, the beautiful whale spirit. Pulled this card for myself many times on my journey. Literally everything is manifesting beyond the surface. You got nothing to worry about. Just at this time, find yourself in a place of fulfillment and creativity and really listen to the calling of your heart. Now, cancer, this is a big one, okay? Wherever your heart is calling upon you right now, know that it's guiding you towards this grand, uh, grand opportunity, this grand offering is all here for you. But it is important for you to be able to follow the steps that's next get yourself grounded breathe through it ask yourself what feels good to me right now what feels really good to me right now that i'm going to feel fulfilled and satisfied from it might be challenging but it will be fulfilling and satisfying and those are the two words that we want to start utilizing and implementing in our vocabulary because that is what keeps us progressing and keeps us moving forward all right cancer i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope there was a message in here for you if there was like share and subscribe i truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you cancer and until our next reading keep shining baby